they are looking at asteroid and comet. Asteroids are small rocky objects that orbit the sun. Although asteroid orbits the sun like planets, they are much smaller than planets. There are a lot of asteroids in our solar system. Most of them are located in the main asteroid belt, a region between the orbit of the Mars and Jupiter. Some of the asteroids go in front and behind the Jupiter. Some of the asteroids are found in the orbit path of the planets. This means that the asteroid and the planet follow the same path around the sun. Earth and few other planets have asteroids like this. Comets are the large object made of dust and ice that orbit the sun, best known for their long swimming tails. They seem to be found in two places, some far beyond the edge of the solar system called Oort Cloud and some beyond the Neptune in the region called the Kepler Belt. The Oort Cloud may contain a trillion icy comets. 66 million years ago, dinosaurs had an ultimate bad day. With a devastating asteroid impact, a region that had lasted 180 million years was abruptly ended. Somewhere around 26,115 asteroids have skimmed past Earth since 1990. Every year, the Earth is hit by about 6,100 meteoroids large enough to reach the ground or about 70 every day. The research has revealed that the vast majority falls unnoticed in uninhabited areas. When you look at asteroid, the range of the size of asteroid uh, can go from some inches and it can go up to some kilometers, it can go up to some, some 33 feet, etc. On the other hand, on the, on the comet side, they are about 100 kilometers, 10 kilometers in diameter. Halle Comet is about 16 into 8 into 8 kilometers. Halle Bob, the biggest comet ever seen from Earth, with a diameter twice of Halle. But the typical size of a comet is about 10 kilometers. We agree that asteroid brings devastation to Earth. But in the past, these asteroids are responsible to bring life onto the Earth. Some of the scientists believe that a lot of required material to sustain life on Earth was basically brought to Earth via asteroid. So, not all asteroids have brought devastation to Earth. On the other side, there are some definite disadvantages of, of the asteroids. The study explored seven effects associated with asteroid impact, heat, pressure shock waves, flying debris, tsunamis, wind, blasts, seismic shaking. So these are some of the effects that, that do cause if there is an asteroid that hits our Earth. On the other hand, there is no scientific evidence that has been found in any of the, any of the comet, uh, any of the debris where it can be seen that the comet has hit Earth. Asteroids are left over from the formation of our solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. Early on, on the birth of a Jupiter prevented any planetary bodies from forming in the gap between Mars and Jupiter, causing the small objects that were there to collide with each other and fragment into the asteroid seen today. So, we can conclude that the asteroid belt, the reason is gravity of the Jupiter. On the other hand, comets. Astronomers believe comets materialize more than 4.5 billion years ago from the dust and the gas of a protopolinary disk and donut shaped cloud of debris surrounding our newborn star. On the fringe of the disk, far from the sun's heat, fine grain of dust coated with frozen gases and water ice began clumping together. How much time do, do they take to revolve around sun? Asteroids take anywhere from 3 to 6 years for a complete revolution around sun. And on the comet side, short period comets need roughly around 200 years and long period comets take anything more than 200 years. What is the biggest asteroid that hit Earth? The Bradford crater in South Africa uh, created about 2 billion years ago. This 160 km large crater is remnant of the largest asteroid to hit Earth. Based on the crater size, it is estimated that the asteroid must have been 10 to 15 km in diameter. For a reference, it is much bigger than the one that killed the dinosaurs. 
According to NASA, an asteroid as big as one kilometer wide can cause a global catastrophic situation if it, if it hits Earth. This asteroid would have obliterated most of the life form and created huge fires, caused a massive tectonic shift and caused an ice age. The asteroids typically, uh, when, when they are coming near to the Earth, when they get into the atmosphere, typically their speed is 18 kilometers per second. On the other hand, it is not proven historically that any, any comet has hit Earth, but if ever a comet comes to impact Earth because of the gravitational pull of the Earth, it will basically hit Earth at an average speed of 53 kilometers per second. Earth has been around for almost 4 billion years. It has seen a lot of asteroids, a lot of comets passing by, a lot of asteroids hitting the Earth. As per the scientific evidence, it looks like there have been at least three big asteroid impacts that Earth has survived. The, many a times, the life, life form has been vanished from Earth. It again resurged from that devastation. I am pretty sure there must be some asteroid which has already started its journey and it is on the path to hit the earth. Only thing we need to look at is when is that going to come near earth, when is going to hit and what kind of devastation it's going to cause. And that is why it is very important that we as a human being become an interplanetary species and that is where the whole initiative of getting to Mars is very very important because that asteroid I'm pretty sure will surpass Mars and come and hit Earth. If you like this video please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.